I'm going to show you today my favorite way of cutting gloves. What I like to do is cut an oval right around the knuckle here for me to stick my fingers through. I know the traditional way of cutting gloves is to cut them straight across at the knuckles, but what I found is that all that material kind of spread my fingers apart a little further than I like to. So I'm going to show you my way of cutting gloves. So what I do, I take my hand, go ahead and put it inside the glove and just get a mental mark of where my the bottom of my knuckle is here okay so I know uh, right there and right there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it up about an inch up the uh, up the glove okay now what I do is I just kind of pinch the fabric And then cut this, and it's kind of going to be, this hole is going to be football shaped, okay, like that. Go down to the other one. And you got to be careful, because it is easy for you to cut yourself, just because of how close you're working here. Okay. Now and you can see the now that I've cut these two little uh, football shaped holes out, these oval holes out. You can see how little material there is right here for my two fingers. Now what I do is I take my fingers and put them through the holes like this. Now there's a couple things that you can do. You can leave the material like this, or what you can do is you can take it and fold it inside out. Let me take it, take my fingers out. You can take the material. Fold it inside out. And when you're playing, you can fold this back. Now, this is perfectly legal. This doesn't count as extra layering because it is just part of the glove. But I tell you what, when I'm sitting there and I'm on my trigger, this extra material around my knuckles definitely has added a couple bounces here and there. Not a lot. Um, but you know, you know, one bounce out of every maybe 20 or 30 shots, um, that's enough for me to keep these folded back. So that's how um, I fold them back if I want to fold them back. And let's say I'm going out and I'm playing woods ball and I don't want to get my fingers caught up in thorns and sticker brushes, I can flip these back over again. like that and then I can put my fingers all the way through them and get the knuckle protection if I'm playing in a scenario game or playing woods ball so my gloves are still functionally intact my fingers are still protected my whole hand is still protected um, but all I have are those holes here so I think that may help uh, some of you folks get a little bit more use out of your gloves and I think you'll find that if you cut your gloves like this it is so much more comfortable with your fingers out like this. As you can see, there's very little material um, in between my fingers for me to uh, wait, you know, fan my trigger uh, to double tap the trigger. So try that out. See if that works. Email me if you have any questions. Thank you very much.